<sighs> the reason why you clicked on this video in the first place and you're pretty excited to hear, I got invited by B Slade to go on tour with him and Patti LaBelle. Yes, you heard me right, Patti LaBelle. <laughs> um, so last week I made a video called Why Being a YouTube Musician Sucks because sometimes it does. Uh, this week is going to be a change of tone because there has been a change in situations. A couple of things have changed. Number one, as you guys have heard or seen in the last video, somebody copyright striked one of my original songs was stealing my revenue claiming that I stole one of their songs. Blah, 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 blah. YouTube copyright's broken. But as I normally do when I get these stupid bogus claims. I made a counterclaim basically saying, no, you do not own this content, it's mine. I'm the creator, I have the session files, I have the proof and everything. Uh, if you don't remove this copyright claim, I will take you to court, I will sue you, and it will not be fun for you. That's basically what I said in so many words. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. The copyright claim has been removed. I got my music back. I don't have people claiming my stuff, saying that it's their work and taking all my revenue. Finally, whew, that's number one. Part two of the good news. <sighs> the reason why you clicked on this video in the first place and you're pretty excited to hear, I wanted to announce it last week, but I thought this should have its own vlog video. I got invited by B Slade to go on tour with him and Patti LaBelle Yes, you heard me right, Patti LaBelle. Life is insane. So I'm going on tour with Patti LaBelle with B Slade. I am not performing myself, but I will be documenting behind the scenes footage for B Slade, for Patti, and just kind of, you know, getting my foot in the door and finding my way in, and this is, exactly what I needed right now. Life has been throwing me so many curveballs and I've been feeling so down and depressed and negative feelings and finally I feel like something good is happening. Something awesome is happening and this is why this video was almost going to be called Why Being a YouTube Musician is Awesome or Amazing or however you wanna throw that in there. And the reason why being a YouTube musician is so awesome is because when you are creating, when you are constantly putting out content, whether that be for me, music, music videos, vlogs, different types of content, when people see that you're really passionate about something and you put in all the effort to make something great, they will take notice and they will pull you on for projects that they have for themselves. Now I... Good God, man. Now, I have been creating on this, this YouTube channel for six years now. This is gonna be my sixth year in September. I've been working with B Slade for a very long time, since 2008. Actually, the first song that I made with B Slade that we collaborated on that I produced for him, is called The Funky Evidence. Give up the funk. Yeah. Black Lion. Enzo. Let's go. First collabo. <laughs> And that is, I think, the evolution of my production. And when I got my foot in the door as a producer, my first placement, boom. Grammy nominated artist, stellar award winning, you know. It was crazy. Now we're stepping into filmography because I established myself as a creator with music. And so he asked me to shoot our first music video that we collaborated on. Fast forward now to 2019, here we are because I established myself as a creator musically and visually with these vlogs, with my content, shooting multiple, multiple music videos for him. I now have been given this opportunity to go on tour with a literal legend, two legends in music, and shoot behind the scenes for their tour. It's still not quite setting in. Um, and I'm getting paid for it. I'm getting paid for it. That, goodness, man. 
So I don't know. I just wanted to I just wanted to start this vlog off with some good news because last week was so negative and so down. Uh, even though I took today off, I took today off to work on these uh, Ariana Grande instrumentals because her new album just came out. So I just pumped out two instrumentals and I will be filming a track out Tuesday today because I go on tour the 12th. So I won't be able to film any track out Tuesdays or sound architect, I'm not sure. Um, so I want to film it in advance. I haven't made any money today, but that's okay because I'm getting paid for something, something that I love to do, which is awesome. And that's why being a YouTube creator, being a YouTube musician is awesome something something coming through finally i'm so happy i'm so happy so you will be seeing a vlog of the tour you will be seeing um perhaps i don't know i don't want to stick a camera in her face but maybe if she's in the background somewhere you will be seeing patty labelle b slade the whole gang everybody it's gonna be fun and i think we're going to like uh six five four four to six different cities or something like that i know for sure i'm going to fly into charlotte then uh, atlantic city new jersey newark new york shooting a music video up there for b slade and all the while shooting a vlog for my youtube channel and all the while shooting behind the scenes for this patty labelle tour life i don't know what's happening but it's good as i always say you just gotta ride with the waves i'm super super excited and I'm just really happy. I'm really happy. Um, on top of that, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, but I just announced that I'm going on my legendary tour, my legendary tour for YouTube, where I'm gonna be filming for The Traveling Musician. That's gonna be happening all of May. I'm going back to Europe. So I will be, I will post the dates or include the dates in a future vlog, but I just wanna put that out there for those of you in Europe. If you guys wanna meet me, if you live in any of the places I'm going to, or wanna travel to where I'm going, that would be nice, but. I'm talking a lot and I'm, I'm winded. Uh, I got three months to lose 30 pounds. I wanna look good this summer. I wanna look good when I travel cause you never know, maybe I'll meet, maybe I'll meet the love of my life, you know? Maybe, maybe, I mean, who, who's to say, you know? If Valentine's Day is like next week, you know? I'm, I don't have no Valentine, you know? So I'm, I'm a single man. Legend wants to get a girlfriend. Legend wants a Mrs. Legend. Legend wants, uh, you know, she, she could be called, she could name herself Icon, you know? You know? I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. So, anyway, let me, let's get to the rest of the vlog. I'm late because I have another re rehearsal, last rehearsal, actually. Two more rehearsals. I'm heading out there right now. I don't care if I'm late. Rehearsals started 11 minutes ago. I got boogers in my eyes. Goodness, man. Four hours of my weekend wasted. Gosh. Hello. Hey. Honestly, I don't even want to show up tomorrow. Number one, you sent me a text message saying this is a mandatory rehearsal, everybody show up. So I'm assuming I'm supposed, I'm gonna be used, but I wasn't. Number two, she never told me that she found another person to play the songs. So obviously, me being the professional that I am, I'm not gonna just disappear and leave you hanging. I'm gonna show up at the rehearsals to at least try and pick up a song or something. But she never told me that she found another person. I had to find out from one of the other cast members at this rehearsal. Five minutes before it started. Let me know what you end up doing. Like I said, if you're not gonna be there, I'm not going. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Canceled everything. A hundred dollars worth of income to do this lady a favor. Show up at this rehearsal. Try and learn these songs. Play for this stupid show because her her other musician flaked and I'm a professional. I don't flake on people. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. If you don't tell me that you found a replacement because she found a replacement to play some of the other songs, I'm going to still show up to the rehearsal. She sent me a text saying, this is mandatory. Everybody show up. I got the text too, so I'm assuming it's mandatory. I canceled all my shifts to come to this rehearsal to make sure I don't make a fool of myself at your show, but also to do you a favor and help you out in a time of need, which I did not have to do at all whatsoever. She found somebody else, did not tell me. I'm coming to the rehearsal thinking I'm still being used for these songs and I don't get one minute, one second of playing time. And she tells me, well, you didn't get on the piano and play. 
You're the director. I'm waiting for you to direct me. You didn't say, let's do it with the music. You said, let's skip this song right now. You saw me sitting in the back. So I think it's gonna be extremely unprofessional of me to do, but at this point, I've already invested way too much time. I've lost way too much money. I've done everything that I could possibly do to help this woman out. But I think at this point, I'm going to do the unprofessional thing and just not show up tomorrow. I'm so tired of this. I feel underappreciated. I feel used. And I feel like this whole situation is just a complete and utter mess. I'm not showing up tomorrow. I'm not showing up tomorrow. Good luck.